Hello, flight deck. Uh, How can I help you? One coffee, please. Hey guys, welcome back to part number two of the uh, FS2 crew NGX reboot flight from uh, Edinburgh down to uh, Lanzarote. I figured now that splitting it into two parts was the best idea because uh, part one was almost 50 minutes long and then that was only as far as the takeoff so I had to do something about that. I can kind of deal with about an hour long videos any more than that and it starts getting uh, ridiculous. Bit of a disclaimer, I made a mistake in part one. Um, the SOPs that I mentioned using SOP2 at the moment, I thought that was for Ryanair. It's not. SOP2 is for something completely different. Uh, SOP2 is for a different airline, and SOP3 is the one for Ryanair, and I only realised that about five minutes after rendering the first part. Uh, but of course, I'm not going to go and re record all that just for the sake of one minor technicality. The logic is still the same, it just means the workload in SOP3 is considerably more in, in your favour, as in the PNF, the pilot not flying, does a lot less and you uh, you do a lot more, it's more hands-on. So uh, I apologise for that, it is SOP3 if you want the Ryanair one, and uh, I'm still going to use SOP2 because, well, start as I mean to go on, and uh, we'll just go from there. Okay, so uh, 280 miles to go until uh, Arasifi Lanzarote, been in the air for just over three hours and still at 360. We've got a good fuel burn at the moment, landing with 3.3 tons. That's without the arrival, but still, uh, it's okay. It's funny watching the green bar come up every time I say something, it thinks that I'm actually trying to talk to it, but I've got it on hard mute. So, uh, the descent procedure, if you read the manual, you essentially have to give control to the PNF while you program everything. So. Uh, we're going to do that, um, and then we'll we'll get the uh, arrival programmed in. So let's do that. You have control. You have control. I have control. Okay, so she's got control, and uh, now we can. Well, there's a small checklist that you have to do. So the first thing is verify. Yeah, verify pressurization set to landing altitude. So we essentially have to find the elevation of Lanzarote, which is. 47 feet so we'll round that up to 50 and we'll set that at the top here okay so the next thing after that is enter vref on approach page well that's not difficult to do um we have to enter the landing gross weight which today is landing 61.3 so 61.3 uh, Lanzarote's runway is kind of mediocre, it's not too small, it's not too big, it's kind of in the middle. Uh, I'm going to use flap 30, that gives us 144, and with that we're also going to use auto brake 2 with idle reverse. I'm aiming to vacate at Echo 2, which is the second rapid exit taxiway right outside um, the terminal, uh, terminal 2 apparently at, uh, at Lanzarote, so we'll go for that. So. Order brake two and flap thirty should be should be good. Okay, so the next thing on the checklist is to set the radio and barrow mins. Uh, we're landing on runway zero three. Uh, it's an ILS approach, uh, bog standard ILS. The wind is ridiculous at the moment. It's gusting up to thirty eight knots now, so um, that's gonna maybe not pose a problem, but I would prefer it if it wasn't gusting thirty eight knots. Um, as far as minimums go, it's 460 feet minimums, Barrow, so we'll stick that in now. Um, we need to do that in the FS2 crew thing as well in a second, but we'll do that soon. So 460, this is for ILS runway 03, or I hate this part, scrolling 60, there we go, perfect. And uh, then we'll actually program the arrival into the FMC. So. Arriving ILS 03 
and it's the Turto 6 Papa arrival. Now the transition for it, I'm not really sure because we're coming from uh, the south, so it'll be Bapal, so it's that one, there we go. Execute that, and then we can go to the descent page, and we can set the transition altitude or transition level, which is 6,000 feet, or 6 zero. So we'll stick that in there, and we can put the descent winds in. You know what? Because I'm here, I'm going to do just that. If I have them on my sheet, which I do, okay. Uh, so we'll start at flight level 310, and then we'll step it down to, whoa, that's too many. 310, and then flight level 230, and then flight level 150. And the winds at 310 are 273 at 29, like so. And 230 is 305 at 18. And then 150 is 285 at 16. Let me click 285.16. And then. The ISO deviation and the QNH. So the QNH at the moment is 1017. It is 28 degrees. So we are looking at 12 and 1017. 1017. Done. Execute that. And then the rest of it is down to the radios. We can set those. So 109.1 in both sides. 109.1 and 109.1 like so and then the course 032 in that side and 032 in that side so that is uh, that's that set up what else do we need to do um, it's all good check landing performance we've all done that set the order break we've done that perform the approach brief uh, well, we can do that by going to here and then approach and so it's a start, it's an ILS, landing flap 33, bleeds are on, final approach fix altitude is 3,000 feet, so we'll put that in there, Barrow is 500, uh, no it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's 460, uh, 460, and the missed approach altitude is not here because my chart is sideways, 5,000 feet does that say? Yeah, 5,000 feet. 5,000 feet. Runway condition is dry. Auto break 2. AD, ASDX, no. Single engine taxi, no. Next page will be on a stand. No air stairs. Uh, power APU delayed start. Uh, we can pretty much do it as quick as we can. No concerns. Final sector, yes. And then we can play the brief. So apparently we've got to do that. Yeah, okay, so we press play brief. Are you ready for the approach? Okay. The arrival routing will be via the ATC assigned star, complying with all published speed and altitude restrictions. For an ILS approach, planning a flap 30. B ref is 1, 4, 4. Final approach fix altitude is 0, 0, feet. Decision altitude is 4, 6, 0, feet. Missed approach altitude is 5, 0, 0, 0, feet. Taxi route in. Will be as assigned by ATC. We will be arriving at remote stand. Descent speeds and navigation radios are set. Airport load have set been reviewed. Any questions, comments, or concerns? No questions. Approach brief. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that that's done. That's exactly all you need to do right now. So we can close that sec thing. Uh, we can basically now take control back. So hang on. I have control. You have control. Okay, so I've got control back now, and now we basically wait for top of descent, which is, uh, well, 105 miles away, so that's what we've got to look forward to. I'll talk to you when we uh, start the descent. Descent checklist, please. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Landing altitude is 5-0 feet. Recall. Checked. Auto brake. Level 2. Landing data. VREF 144, minimums 460 feet. Checked. Approach briefing. Completed. Descent checklist complete. 
down we go. Okay, so we're just passing, what are we passing, 8-4 for 3, and uh, what I think I'm going to do is take a shortcut to RR405, I think, up to the right there, there we go. Plenty of time to descend, and I'll go manual heading if we need to. First officer's done all of his duties, which is good, and uh, yeah, we're good. The cabin is secure. Thanks. Set heading two four zero. I'm gonna essentially swing it round to the left and then kind of go that way instead of going on that weird cut. See Panzerotti just there. Let's 
select, heading select. Heading select. Select level change. Level change. Set speed to one zero. Transition. Set Q and H, please. One zero set. Set Q and H, please. One zero one three set passing altitude. Five thousand four hundred. Okay, let's try that again. Set Q and H, please. One zero one six. Set passing altitude five thousand four hundred. Checked. Approach checklist, please. Altimeters. One zero one six set. One zero one six set. Approach checklist complete. Okay, so uh, you can see nine point five to go. Everything's looking fine. We'll make the base turn shortly. Now I'm just going to give this thing commands of, of things to do, and it will do most of it for me. Um, so, you know, flaps here, etc. I don't know why I just said now. That was really weird. Checked. Uh, it's randomly said now at me. That was really awkward. Um, so, yeah, so we have to. Okay. I guess that's telling the cabin crew ready to land or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Checked. It says at 5,000 AFE, so above field elevation, the PM will call 5,000 and cycle the fastened seatbelts twice to alert the cabin crew that you are landing. You should respond with checked. So we did that. Um, so we are using heading select at the moment to shoot the approach, which is fine. Set heading 290. Heading two nine zero set. Flaps one. Flaps one. Set speed one eight zero. Speed one eight zero set. Flaps five. Flaps five. Set heading three six zero. Mm, are you sure? Yes. Set heading three six zero. Mm, are you sure? Glide oh, slope alive. I'll do it myself. Three five zero. Arm localizer. Localizer armed. Select approach. Localizer alive. Arm approach. Approach armed. Find approach fix. Height checked. Missed approach altitude not set. Checked. Set heading zero three one. Heading zero three one set. Gear down flaps fifteen. 
Gear down. Flaps 15. Set speed 160. Speed 160. Set. Set speed 149. Flaps 30. Speed 149. Set. Flaps 30. Set missed approach altitude. Missed approach altitude set. Landing checklist, please. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Gap down. Runway. Down. Flaps. 30 green light. Landing checklist complete. Cleared. Check. Stable. Landing. Check. Speed brake up. Reverses normal. Auto brake disarmed. Why does it always do that with me? Always disarm the auto brake. Checked. Sixty knots. Checked. Check.
okay to clean up. Check. Master caution, anti ice. The Okay, so I have a few things I need to do. I need to bring the speed brake in. Oops. I need to landing lights off. It's me. Taxi light on. Runway turn offs and weather radar. Four hours and five minutes. Spot on. That's amazing. Okay, so um, it's starting the AP already. Yeah, it's already on the go. Nice. Oh, I needed to say check, didn't I? Checked. Well, I completely butchered that turn. Flight directors can go off as well. And uh, I assume it's going to be a remote stand. Ryanair don't seem to want to park on anything but remote stands. Because it costs them too much money. So we'll just go on a remote stand. Any one will do really. Maybe this one actually on the right. Or did I just go past it? Yeah, I'll go past it. Never mind. I'll find one. Lights and doors. Check. Cabin crew disarm doors and cross check. It would appear I've run out of remote stands, so I'm doors just going to throw it on the normal stand. On the bus. And Tango 2, even though it's got an air bridge, we're not going to be your air gate, we're not going to be using it. That will do. Welcome to Lanzarote. We are not at three minutes yet. Okay, we have to wait. We can, uh, we can shut one engine down now. Shut down engine number two. Shut down engine number two. Okay, don't shut down engine number two. Why won't it shut down the engines? Taxi in, blah blah blah. Uh, shut down procedure. Lights and doors. The first officer will turn the taxi room. Three Ta minutes. Th three minutes. Okay. Shut down engine number two. What are we waiting for? I don't see anything about three minutes. Just prior to turning to the gate, speak lights and doors. The first officer will uh, taxi, turn off the taxi light, which he did, or she did, sorry, and the turn off lights and cabin crew disarm doors and cross check. Uh, if APU running doors disarmed on the bus. So what's the problem? When you park at the gate, you set the parking brake and ensure the taxi light is off. The taxi light must be off. Ready for shutdown. Oh, hang on. Maybe I have to say that. Ready for shutdown. Ready for shutdown. I guess we just have to wait. Parking brake set. Ah. Maybe I have to do it. There we go. It was me that had to do it as if. I thought they did it. My bad. Okay, so parking brake set, engine start leaves are done, and the flight directors are off. Okay. Shutdown procedure. Aha, there we go. She's going through the shutdown procedure. Let's see if we can get GSX on the... Uh... Oh, no. Doesn't like it. Whatever. 
We tried, but we failed. That's what happens when you use something for the first time. Right, doors. Well, actually, first of all, ground connections. Oh, she's already done it. Okay, doors. Open with the air stir at least. There we go. She's almost done with the shutdown procedure. Just wait for the MCP stuff to be done. Resetting the uh, trims, I think, there. Yeah, 49,100 shutdown procedures almost done. Transponder going to 3K. There we go. And reset the timer. So, uh, yeah. That's everything. Shutdown checklist. Shutdown checklist. Fuel pumps off. Probe heat off. Hydraulic panel set. Flaps up. Parking brake set. Engine start levers cut off. Weather radar off. Off. Shutdown checklist complete. Secure the aircraft, please. Check. And secure checklist. Secure checklist. Secure really? checklist. Oh, yeah. IRSs off. Emergency exit lights off. Window heat off. Packs off. Secure checklist complete. And there we have it. All done. That is a full flight with FS2 crew. Although I messed up some things, but uh, the majority of it was actually quite cool. It, it seemed to understand me, which was uh, pretty interesting. Ah, the joys of flying at night. Well, it's almost night. Look at how nice the sunset is. You can't really see it, but it's over there somewhere. There you go. Look at that. This scenery is quite nice. I often feel that air sims seem to do um, mediocre stuff, especially with the previous stuff they've done. It's always been an FS9 port, which isn't usually very good but this one seems to be pretty nice it's, it's not laggy at all no fps issues uh pretty well detailed it's not any you know it's not fs dream team or anything like that but it, it's not bad uh, it gets the job done so anyway here we are on stand tango 2 at uh lanzarote i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did I might use FS2 crew a little bit more in the future. As I said, I have a Dash 8 version, so if you want to see it, then uh, then let me know, and we'll maybe use the other SOPs and, and see what's going on. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you did too, and until the next video, take care, and again, thank you for watching. Au revoir. Look, it even said thank you.